Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well. So this is a really exciting video because it's one part of a Thanksgiving survival guide that we put together for you guys. Okay, so backstory is that we planned a collab and we is me and a couple of my, actually three of my YouTube best friends. And yeah, we've decided to put together a Thanksgiving survival guide for you guys. So I'm going to be showing you the perfect and easiest cranberry kind of very holiday inspired makeup look that's perfect for Thanksgiving Day and I'm also going to show you a treat that you can DIY which I'm kind of calling cake pops for lazy people and you guys will totally see why. Anyways, my other friends Lauren, Amy, and Lauren, they're going to be doing the outfit, the hair, more treats, DIY decorations, a bunch of really fun Thanksgiving themed stuff. So these videos are going to be a real treat for you guys. We really hope you guys enjoy them and I'm just going to get started. Make sure you check the description box for the rest of the videos and I'll link all their channels at the end and also down below. I think I already said that. Anyways, let's do this and I really hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to start off by showing you my really easy yet extremely festive makeup look. So I'm going to start off by prepping my face. So I applied BB cream all over my face and then I applied concealer to my under eye circles and to a few blemishes that I had over my face. And then I just used my hands to blend. So up next to get started with eyes, you're going to need a cranberry colored eyeshadow and this one is from an old e.l.f. palette that I have. So I used my fingers to apply that only to the lids of my eyes and then I picked up a brush to kind of blend it all in together so it wasn't very harsh. So after that I picked up an eyeliner brush and I applied a little of the same eyeshadow right underneath my bottom lash line. So up next you're going to need a gold colored eyeshadow. I used Half Baked from my Naked palette and I just picked up another brush and I started applying it into the outer corner of my eye and also in the inner corner of my eye and I kind of blended it towards the center. So go ahead and do that on both eyes. So remember, inner corner, outer corner, and then I grabbed the brush and kind of blended what I had left of gold on it right on top of the cranberry that I had on my lid. So after that, I picked up a blending brush and I started blending all the edges so there were no harsh lines and that is basically it for the eyeshadow. So up next, make sure to fill in your brows. I'm just using my favorite brow product, which is my Tarte Emphasize Brow Mousse. I'm just filling them in and then just brushing them out with the spoolie brush. So go ahead and do that. And after that, just apply a few coats of mascara to your top and bottom lashes. For my lips, I'm going to be using this Tarte Lip Surgeon's Pencil in the color Fancy. And it's really important because it's kind of cranberry colored and I feel like it matches the shadow perfectly. So I decided to do that. And for blush, I applied a rosy color from Forever 21 onto the apples of my cheeks. And up next, I chose this highlighter from Too Faced, which I'm obsessed with. And I feel like highlighter adds a very festive look to holiday makeup. So I applied that to the tops of my cheekbones as well as the center of my face. And that's basically it for the makeup look. So as promised, I'm going to teach you how to make these super cute Oreo turkey pops. So what you're going to need is some double stuffed or mega stuffed Oreos, some Whoppers or malted milk balls, miniature Reese's cups, candy corn, white icing, and some chocolate that you can melt. So what I'm doing first is I'm laying out all my ingredients. You're going to be needing one Oreo for every single turkey pop that you want to make. I also melted my chocolate and I laid out my Whoppers and I unwrapped my Reese's cups. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your melted chocolate as a kind of glue and you're going to use one Reese's cup for the body and one malted milk ball for the head of your turkey if that makes sense. And this is kind of hard to get on film just because I couldn't really see where the camera was pointing to. Anyways, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you see it, you're going to get it. Just use your chocolate as glue and glue one malted milk ball and one Reese's cup on every single Oreo to make the turkey's head and the body. And go ahead and do that for as many turkey pops as you want to make. So once you've made as many little turkey bodies as you want, you're going to want to put it in the fridge or in the freezer so that the chocolate will harden and nothing falls off. 
If it's cold where you live, you might not have to do this, but it's really hot where I live. So I just put them in the fridge for a while. And then after this, I forgot to show you guys in the ingredients, but you're gonna also need some candy sticks to use as the sticks for our Oreo Pops. That's really bad explaining. Anyways, you're going to stick it into the stuffing and then you're going to want to use a little bit of chocolate as glue because it could potentially fall apart. So just apply a little bit and then cover it with the other side of the cookie. So once our sticks are in place, our next step is to grab six little candy corn and place them at the very top of every single Oreo turkey pop. So you're basically just going to stick it into the stuffing and this is why we wanted the double stuffed Oreo because it's easier to stick them in there. So go ahead and put six little candy corns in every single turkey pop and they're going to look like the feathers which is extremely cute. So after that I piped a little bit of my white icing into a Ziploc bag and I cut a small hole at the very bottom and I'm just using that to make little eyes on every single Whopper head. And after that I picked up these little chocolate chip cookie things that I had and I'm using them for the eyes and then I used used a small tiny chocolate chip and I used a little bit of the chocolate to glue it on and that makes the beak and it's the cutest thing ever and after that you're basically done with your turkey Oreo Pops. So after I was done I decided to tie a little brown ribbon around this stick just to make it a little bit more festive and they looked so so cute so if you guys make these make sure to send me pictures and everyone in your family is absolutely going to love them. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and are really excited for eating a lot of food on Thanksgiving, make sure to leave a big thumbs up down below. Also, don't forget to send me pictures if you try out the turkey pops or if you try this makeup look out for your Thanksgiving dinner or party or wherever you're going. Get also be sure to check the description box for Lauren's DIY treats and decorations video for Amy's treat outfit and hair video and for Lauren's outfit inspiration video. These are all Thanksgiving inspired and they're very festive and holiday-ish. That's not really a word. Anyways, I'm rambling. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to leave me any requests down below or let me know what you thought of this video. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit the button down below. I send a million kisses your way. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. I feel the magic in the air too.